One of the co-founders of the Tomahawk Museum was Princess Red Wing. Her name was Mary Congdon. And uh, she worked with uh, a woman who was with Connecticut College in developing the original museum. And um, she had gone to a second-hand shop in Connecticut. And she looked at this one basket. It kept calling to her. It was in the window, and it was dusty and dirty, and there were a few cobwebs. And she asked the owner of the shop, could she take a look at that basket? So he pulled it out and swished it back and forth to take the dust off. And she looked at it, and her hands were almost trembling. She said, may I hold it? May I hold it? And she held on to the basket. The bottom was square, it was rounded up, and there was little paintings, designs on the side. And memories started flooding to her. And she didn't know why. And then she said to the man, uh, is this for sale? He said, oh yes, this is a very dear basket. It comes from the Indians. Uh, they lived up the highway somewhere. I don't remember which tribe, with a Niantic, Nipmuc, something Shinnecock, could have been anything. I said, but it's a very, very special basket. She says, well, it's sort of faded. It's been in the front window, and the sun has shone on it and faded it. And there's a couple of broken spokes. So he says, oh, that's very, very dear. So she said, well, how much is it? He said, oh, about $50. She says, oh, no, I, I, I couldn't handle that. And she handed the basket back, but the basket, her hands wouldn't let go. So then she said, um... Well, can, can you help me with that? She said, I'm Narragansett and Wampanoag. She, both my parents, both sides. Um, could you help me? So he said, well, how about $35? So she said, well, wait a minute. And she let go of the basket, and she turned her back, and she looked down in her purse, and she had $24. She said, oh. she said well, sir... I need four dollars for gas to get back to Rhode Island. How about 20? And then she says, and look, there's another crack in one of the splints. And see where it's all faded on this side? And it's very, very dirty. So he took a rag and he wiped around. And he says, well, it's not that dirty. So then she said, I won't keep it for myself. I'll give it to a museum. He said, what museum? Well, there's a small museum called the Tomaquag Indian Museum in Tomaquag Valley in Hopkinton, Rhode Island. And he said, oh, all right, $20. So she turned and she slowly pulled out a $10 bill, nine ones, and some change. And she had $20. She said, okay. She put the basket very carefully in the back seat of the car. And she drove home. And she's driving home. She remembered the story of many, many years ago that her mother had told her how she had made this basket and how her grandmother said, make it your own. And she said, when you make a mistake, take it apart and do you did it correctly. But it doesn't have to be perfect because only the creator can make things perfect. And if you come to Tomaquag Museum today, that basket is still there, still on exhibit. That's why baskets are my favorite things.